the Masonic symbol of transformation. The doorway area does not have any lights or electrical outlets. It is a Masonic tradition to walk into a dark room, then into the light of the Masonic temple. Its purpose is to signify the darkness of this world and to avoid anyone being able to see inside the temple. The archway is full of symbolism. It is sufficient to point that inside the archway is a passage from the Old Testament, which is in direct reference to the infallible and incorruptible name of the God of Israel. The infallible name of God is a significant term within the Masonic rites. The facade of the building is full of Freemasonic signs. Simply consider the diamond checkered design of the facade. It is a design found thoroughly within Masonic lodges, emblems, and apparel. The facade also faces west. The west porch of a Masonic temple often contains hand-hewn red granite. The Museum of Art features red granite. The original handrail was made of walnut with a globe found on the end. The walnut tree is believed to be among the Freemasons, the wood used for King Solomon's temple. It also represents strength of character. The globe is universally used among Freemasons to denote a sense of direction, that a Mason should always be physically and morally directed across the world. The trees that line the exterior courtyard are walnut trees. On the square or cornerstone of the building is a scripture from Psalms 135 verse 13 that reads, Thy name, O Lord, endureth forever, and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. Thus lies in stone an implication that the building was designed to be a memorial to the God of Israel. The scripture is also in reference to the Masonic tradition of the incorruptible name of God. The following passage contains various traditional Freemasonic words and phrases, such as the gate, the candle, and the traveling man. Within the museum is an outdoor reflecting pool. Reflecting pools are used in old Masonic initiations. The outdoor courtyard contains an angelic figure holding a tablet with model text recessed in the wall. This figure is often found among the old English branch of the Freemasons. It represents the revelation of geometry. Inside the reflecting pool area lies a dome. Under the dome is found the cycle of the moon, featured in tile. The four pillars that support the dome feature the Masonic plants representing the four seasons of the year. The dome itself is a symbol of the great architect. Next to the dome is found the likeness of a lily. This was a sacred plant among Egyptians, which they used to symbolize the Nile River, the giver of life, the white lily work, notes peace and purity. Lilies are often found in older Masonic temples. In the original proposal of the design, a man is seen giving a secret handshake while the second is whispering in the ear of the man next to the door a known message. Thus it appears to be that the two men are signaling the five points of fellowship as a way of entry into the museum. From the conclusion of a poem composed by Dr. Eric W. Allen, the founder of the University of Oregon School of Journalism. The following was read at the formal dedication of the Women's Memorial Building, Sunday, May 7th, 1921. Let the coming generations know all this was nobly done. And if perchance it seems not great to children of an ampler day, let them reflect the women of our time, an age of trouble and discouragement, for not one moment faltered or held back, but labored through all obstacles to make that future great. I'm Brian Walker.